now give witness the impetus. I mean, they're, like you said, I think you said it at half time, George. They've been quite flat throughout the game. Um, but this might be the spark that they need or that little bit of belief or confidence that they need to, to maybe uh, get, this, get this result. But see, Dean Parada's now just joined the field for, for Toulouse. Oh, it's a great take from Galling over his shoulder. Gelling wants the ball again, he'll get it again. Johnson with a scamper. Runs into blue and white traffic. Oh, Lula White to Hansen, good line. Lula White took a shot there as well. It's a good defence out by Toulouse, to be fair. Back to McGrath, Lulawai, offload out the back. Again, back and it's come off of two loose hands, that's six more. See that inside play, they've got him with the inside play again. I'm telling you, that's where it is, got to test him back on the inside. Gilmore to Chapla. Suddenly, they're showing something. Johnson to McGrath, Lulawai. Again, the Vikings fans want a penalty. Dugdale. Another good opportunity, Johnston. Back inside, Lulawai. Gilmore. Almost opened up for Ellis Robson. As Gelling spins, can Gelling get the ball down? Has Gelling scored? No, no he's held up. The fans thought he had. But again, I notice here, Gilmore drops off Ellis Robson. A nice drop-off play there. That gets a quick play, the ball. Hitting them back against the grain. They've got to stick with that. Gilmore just set up a try. And they find another. Oh, poor option from Brand. The ball's been turned over. Don't know why he was looking to put a kick in there. Better there for Toulouse, just taking the meters. Back five coming in just to do some carries here. 24 minutes to go. Witness six to lose 12. Like he's just on the board. But here come Toulouse Olympique. Bretherton to Ford. little spin from James Bell last Spot. tackle 40 away will Ford drill into touch normally does yes he has again yeah. <laughs> the crowd say <laughs> boring that was funny <laughs> <laughs> that was funny found the line when they've been a little bit of pressure and it just got their composure back and got them back on track so it's need a good defensive setting now to loose Gelling slips. Lulaway gets good a big shot. shot. Dean Parada there. Good shot from the hooker. Bounces off it though. Gilmore. Last tackle witness in their own territory. So he just drills, that's a decent kick actually between winger and fullback from Gilmore. It doesn't look likely that Danny Craven will be returning, I think I'm sure that. 15 minutes is well and truly up. Yeah. I think his day is probably done. It's a very quick scamper from dummy half. And Dean Parata. Corella does the same. Oh, Still going. Last tackle. 
Will Toulouse look to force another set here? Carella has got ideas of a try. Can Bretherton pick up and get something into the corner? A little oh, grubber kick through. Will they score? Oh, that's, that's a, a great, great try. try. That's a great Wonderful try. Wonderful try for Milias Bergal and Toulouse. That's great rugby league football. Stretch clear once again. Fantastic play there from Toulouse. And it can spot. They need to maintain that energy and desire. Well, it's a tough kick for Mark Carella. You've got a good view of it on this near touch line. No, he's pushed it wide. Oh, God, not by much. Almost swung back around there, didn't it? And misses as good as a mile, Hendo. There's team problems if they get in the right field position. So Jack Owens puts a swirling kick. This could come oh. back with us his way, you know. How's the bounce? Gelling, oh, unlucky. Oh. Taps it back and... I felt Anthony Gelling should have got up and caught that football. It was in the court. Allowed it to bounce. Thought he was in a position to catch that ball. Thought he should have got up and caught it. It's a big defensive set now, this for, for witness, George. They need to make sure they stay strong in this D set to stay in the game. Oh, Vi Vi back off the bench here. <laughs> Bulldozing, he takes some stop in, doesn't he? Wow. Look at the legs pumping <laughs> from the big man. <laughs> oh, wow. Parata will scamper away from dummy half. Happy. Parata. Once again, from Happy's run. This is looking good from Toulouse. It's looking a bit more controlled, isn't it? A bit more controlled from them the last few sets. Jussam off the ball from Robin. Now four. Now oh, Bretherton towards the line. Play. He won't be stopped. Oh, Gaping wow. hole. And he strides clear. And that could be the score that it. seals it for Toulouse. I think, it, I think that's right there, George. It a bit more kick pressure. Not enough urgency to get some pressure on the kickers. And... Jonathan Ford. And it was Tom Gilmore was just caught ball watching there. He was just his head was just focused on the try there for the Toulouse side. Yeah, they look home and hose Toulouse. They've been pretty much in control. Just a seed of doubt after that six-pointer from Widness, but they've responded in kind with two of their own and Corella to tag on the two. No mistake this time. Through and through, right down the middle. Flags up. 6-22 with 17 yeah. and a bit to go. Well, it was important, I said, didn't I, that last, that last set after they just conceded to go 16 points to six down. They had to have a strong D set on that set, and unfortunately they've conceded back-to-back -back points, which isn't great. It's just made the, uh, the road uphill a little longer for them. Vi Vi there, good offload from him. He's been impressive since coming back off this bench. With and this is what they do to lose when they get the roll they'll, on. They'll think they've broken this now. They think they've got the game in the bag, so they want to put the foot down on the accelerator and yep. make it a lot more comprehensive. And you want back against them oh, because they can right. score Look very, the very quickly. Here. He's got the big guy on his shoulder. Oh! oh <laughs> he just yeah, flicks it out of the back. So they didn't even feel that. Mika, the try scorer this afternoon. This is why they're so good to watch to lose. They can just turn it on at will, it seems. Short-sided. Parata, yes. They're going to go skinny side and then dab back inside. Good chase, too. Yeah, but you're right, though, George. Once they get a little bit of tempo away and a little bit of ruck speed, they're a dangerous team, aren't they, to, to contain. They love to move the ball. They shift the point of attack. They'll skim across the line. They'll offload. They'll chip and chase. You know, they've got it all, haven't they? Last quarter hour, mind uh, man of the match duties in about 10 minutes, Hendo. Oh, wow. I should say, by the way, the past couple of weeks where you've been away, I've been working with Leon Price, he's been absolutely outstanding, so you need to up your game. <laughs> well, I think the last couple of games I did with you, they were both really, really good games, weren't they? With a really good team performances. We've been blessed they? with some really good fixtures yeah, on our league this really season. Good team performances, so. So whoever's in charge of choosing the games, you've done a good job. Or maybe we've just got lucky. Or maybe every game's good. Who knows? This hasn't been a great Ooh, game, by the way. That's dangerous tackle. That's dangerous. Yeah. But Toulouse have been good to watch. Actually, last week, uh, the Scholars game wasn't great. I'll be honest. That was a long two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's unfortunate. Yeah.
Well, I think at the moment for me, I think Tyler Heppy's been quite impressive. I think he made a difference when he came yeah, off the bench. Yeah, he's been an impact, hasn't he? He certainly uh, caused a, a few inroads.